Oh man, there was one. Came up and gave my frog a little smooch there. Got him that time. Oh yeah, oh that's a that's a decent one too. Good one to start off the afternoon. You know, I've been catching so many largemouth this year with this live target frog. I figured I had to come give it a try on some river smallies. Probably about perfect time for some frog fishing out here too. It's early August. The weeds are about as thick as I've seen them and there's lots of lily pads too. I haven't found any fish up and that kind of stuff quite yet, but... I was just kind of curious to see if I could get him on the frog. I'm using this tree frog color, live target frog. From their point of view, it's pretty much identical to that leopard frog, one that I normally use on largemouth. That just happens to be the one that I have tied on today. Decent little guy to start off the afternoon. Wasn't sure if I'd get him on top water quite yet anyway. it's. Probably 3.30 in the afternoon right now. Not really the best time to be throwing top water, but I figure if these smallies are hiding up in their ambush spots up along the bank in the shade underneath some of that overhanging stuff, if you throw something in front of them, more than likely they're going to jump out and attack it. That one was just kind of hanging out off the bank a little bit though. He might have chased it out of the bank at first, but I saw him looking at my frog, maybe about 10 feet from the shore. Came up and gave it a little smooch and I missed him. I threw it right back there and he crushed it. Yeah, that's pretty cool. That's gonna be kind of fun. I might not necessarily need the frog for a lot of the spots that I'll be catching them in, but it'll be nice having something that I can throw a little bit deeper up into those log jams where I'm probably not going to throw the topwater lures that I typically fish out here on 10 or 12 pound mono. This 30 pound braid should have no problem pulling fish out of just about anything I'll find out here. I'm using the same rod that I use for frog fish and largemouth too, the 6.8. Medium heavy power fast action St. Croix Legend Tournament with a quantum smoke reel. And like I said, 30 pound braid. I have the Power Pro Super Slick. And the 55 size live target frog. Definitely want to bend those hooks out so you got that little gap for fishing smallies. I hit it a little bit lighter than the largemouth that I usually go after with the frog. You know, I've I've tried the frog on smallies a couple of times in the past. It's always been early summer though. You know when you get that early summer high water level on the river. I tried throwing the frog up in some of the flooded grass. I got hit a lot, but I think I was only like one for eight on my hookup ratio. But I think a lot of that has to do with just the time of year, that early summer time. You know I have a tough time hooking them on any top water lure that I throw at them just because they really don't hit it as hard. It's more like they just kind of come up and slap at it. So we'll see if we can get a few more on this live target frog today. Either way, it's a beautiful day to be out here. We're gonna have fun trying. Whoa! Man, that one just slammed that frog. That's a big fish too. The small or large mouth. Imagine that. I think it's a large mouth. <laughs> I don't catch many of them on the river, but of course when I put the frog on, I'm gonna get one. Jeez. Man, that is a tank of a large mouth too. Yeah, I'll take that. He just exploded on that frog. Just a second, you. We're gonna get a quick measurement. Nice fat 
uh, 19, a little shy of 19. About 18 and three quarters. Nice big old river largemouth though. Like he's going right back for those cattails. That's probably what he was hiding in. Man, it is so weedy out here right now. I need to go hit that little entrance to that bay and that log cluster right there. be too weedy for anything to really want to hang out up there. I can clear out a little bit up there. Whoa! Jeez, I think that was Jaws. Oh my gosh, I think it was a large mode. But he is a huge one, I think. Oh my gosh, that might be the biggest largemouth that I've ever caught on the river. That was awesome. He just came out and crushed that frog. Boom, another one on that live target frog. Almost 19 and a quarter. I thought it'd be a little bit bigger than that, but that is still a heck of a large mouth. Nice large mouth, especially for up here on the river. I don't catch many largemouth up here. But of course I'm throwing the frog. So that's what I'm gonna catch. <laughs> the log cluster looks promising. tonight. A lot slower than I expected. That's got to be a smallie. Oh yeah. That one's a little bit more brown looking than the last couple I caught. Yeah, he's hanging out underneath that log cluster there. Came out and jumped all over that frog. Oh, I don't like how you're hooked there. There we go. Yeah, that's a nice molly. He came out and nailed that tree frog. The live target, 55 size. I do got a couple of smaller ones. Maybe I should have brought them for smallmouth, but yeah, this has been doing the trick. Yeah, that's a pretty one right there.
Just did not get a good hook set on that one. It came back right back at me. That's where they're liking to hang out, is up underneath this grass. Oh, the water level is up a little bit. I thought you got off. Looking for my frog back behind me there. Man, that is a chunk smolly. Ooh. <laughs> Should have just let him stay in here with me. Right, come back up here now. Oh. Man, that one is a pig. Just about to call it quits for the night. That's a good one to end the night on. It's probably the biggest one I've caught all day. It's been a little bit slow out here this evening, but I've been getting a lot of fish, but most of the smallies have been kind of on the smaller side. I'd say the two largemouth have stolen the show up to this point. That's definitely a nice, nice smallmouth right there. Great way to end the evening. Well, I think it's about that time for me to head on back to the launch. It's a pretty decent day of fishing. The smallies were a little bit on the smaller side, but Two largemouth kind of made up for it. Those were a nice surprise. But you know, even when the fishing is a little bit on the slow side, on a beautiful night like this, I don't think there's any place I'd rather be. Well, thanks for coming along. I'll see you next time. <laughs>